Skype for Business, a first look at the Skype interface. As soon as you launch Skype, this is what you'll see. You've got your name, there's a photo of you, and here I can see my online presence status. We can see that John Keller here is available. He has other choices like busy or do not disturb, be right back, off work and appear away. That little purple dot, well that means his automatic replies are turned on in Outlook. Today, John is working from home, and we can see that because he has his location turned on. We can choose to show others our location if we'd like to, or we can turn it off. We have a little area here where we can type in what's happening today, just to add another level to let people know what's going on, and also to let them know the right time to contact me. We'll explore in more detail all the cool features of Skype for Business, but this video really gets into what the interface looks like, as well as how to get around. We focused on that top part, and here I just like to talk about these three icons right here. This one is our contacts area. Here I can see all the contacts that I've added, and I've also got them in different groups. I have favorites, other contacts, project team, and I also have some external contacts here on the bottom. I can look at these in groups. I can organize them based on status, so we have three people on top who are online, two people who are away, and we also have an unknown and unavailable on the bottom. All of my contacts happen to be online right now, even if they're away or inactive. Next is relationships. If I click here, I can see I have friends and family, work group, colleagues, and I have external contacts as well as blocked. If I click on new, here, if somebody else adds me as a contact, but I don't have them as a contact, it'll be displayed here. That gives me a great opportunity to add them if I'd like to. Next, I'm going to click right here on conversations. This is a nice log of all the conversations that I've had with other people. It could be a meeting, or a phone call, a video call, or even some instant messaging. I can click here on Missed, and this will show me a list of potentially missed conversations, maybe when I was away. This is a basic list of all of my Skype calls. Here we have Meetings. If I click on Meetings, it's going to show me what's going on today. 12 o'clock dentist appointment, a 1.30 social media meeting, which happens to be a Skype meeting, and then a 3.30 sales meeting, which is in Classroom D. If I'd like to, I can click and I can begin that meeting. We'll get more into meetings in future videos. Here, I have a cog or gear, which is options. And as I go through this list, I can see basic options, and I can check and uncheck things depending on what I'd like. We have contacts list, status. Automatically, if you've been inactive for five minutes, your status will change from green to yellow. And you can always change this by clicking here or typing in a number. Here's my picture. Maybe you're a little shy. You can click here and hide my picture, and you'll just see a little silhouette. And I click here and show my picture. There's John Keller. And if he'd like to, he can edit or remove his picture by clicking here. We have phones, alerts, instant message, ringtones and sounds, and so on. Audio and video. This is where we can test, as well as set up our video. In this location, we'll save our files. We can record things in 480, 720, or 1080p, and we also have Skype meetings here. We've got lots and lots of different options. I encourage you to explore them, but many of the default settings are just fine. I'm going to click OK. If I click on this little drop-down, I can see File, and here I can sign out. I can even change my sign-in address if I need to. I can change my status from here. I can view any received files, a conversation history, close, or exit. I can meet now and have that ad hoc meeting on the fly. I can go to Tools. Here are some help options. And if I'd like, I can show a menu bar on the top. When I click, I get that classic look right up here. I'm going to go back here and just uncheck Show Menu Bar. I'll click back on Contacts, and I'll click on Groups. Here's our search area. I can type in a person's name or their email address and add them as a Skype contact. Whenever I hover over someone's picture, I can send an IM or instant message. I can call them. I can start a video call. I can see their contact card. And if I click here on More Options, I can send an email right here from Skype, schedule a meeting. I can copy this contact, remove them from my favorites in this case. I can totally remove them from my contacts list. And I can also tag for status change alerts. And that's just going to let me know when people log in and they log out. Again, we'll get into specifics with this video series. 